premiere at 50,000 views. So I was like, let me give the girls and boys another nail DIY tutorial. You know what I'm saying? Um, so today I'm going to be doing a full poly gel nails set. You guys saw it in the beginning. A little clip of my nails. They came out really cute. So if you're interested in today's video, then make sure you keep watching. So first I'm starting off with a nail file. This is a 100 slash 180 grit nail file. So one side is 100, the other side is 180. And I'm just buffing off the top layer of my nails. I'm not going crazy with this. I'm using the 100 side, the softer side. I believe that's how it works. I'm just, I'm using the softer side. Um, and I'm just buffing off the top layer. That way our nails are ready and prepped to go for everything to stick to them really got this nail glue from sally's beauty everybody was asking me in my last couple of nail videos even though i linked it in the description box this nail glue is from sally's beauty the brand is beauty secrets and i'm just gluing on these tips these are kiss nail tips linked in the description box down below so don't worry about that you'll be able to purchase everything online and have it shipped to you because as you guys know we're in quarantine right now which is why i'm doing my own nails i mean i always have done my own nails but you know this is why you're watching this video because you want to know how to do your own nails at home because you want to feel cute again you know you want to have a little manicure going for yourself and that is quite all right like i'm here for you boo like i understand the struggle so glue on your nail tips that's what mine are looking like these are hella long i was feeling like i wanted to leave them at this length but then i was like no you're doing too much because you're gonna be at home and you don't need your nails and just clip away any dead cuticle skin you know dead skin that's sitting around the cuticle on my nail so that they look really nice and neat and that's what my nails was looking like. I was feeling like Saweetie when she was like, that's your boo? That's your boo? <laughs> so I'm just going in with a um, acrylic nail cutter. This one is like the durable one so that you can cut through really thick or really thin nails. But I just clipped all the nails down to the desired length. And then I'm going back in with my nail file and I'm just buffing the little like ledge i don't even know what to call that but i'm buffing the tip where the tip is glued on so that it's smooth so there's no like ridge there or bump um and i'm doing that to all of my fingernails as you can see that's what that looks like they, they really come together you know and then i decided i wanted to do like a ballerina shape ballerina slash coffin they're not going to be super narrow but i did want them to be more tapered in because they kind of do go out because they're a square um nail tip i actually want to purchase some already shaped ballerina or coffin style nail tips so i'm going to be ordering that today on amazon but i just went ahead and i cut the sides with my cuticle cutter like but i just kept it towards the top of the nail or the end of the nail and i'm just cutting off those sides and that's what that looks like. And then I'm gonna go in with my nail file. This is from Kiss. It's a really, really great nail file. I love this nail file so much. I believe I also purchased this at Sally's Beauties or I might have gotten it at the regular beauty supply store, which is not open right now because it's not an essential business and I'm just, I'm hurting inside because I wanna go into the, the beauty supply store and I wanna spend two hours in there just looking at everything, you know, like. After you shape your nails, they should look like that. Hydrator, this is a part of my gelish nail kit. I've used this in about every single video, so I will have it linked down below. But you just wanna apply a dehydrator to your nail and only your bonder, whatever you wanna call it. You don't wanna be as generous as I was with this. You wanna, a little bit less is necessary. Like, a little bit less is more than okay. I was kind of heavy handed with this. You don't need that much. So this also came in my gelish nail kit. That I purchased off of Amazon. Again, everything will be linked down below. Doing one thin layer of the foundation and I'm going to cure for 60 seconds. So I did cure after the primer. So I did the primer, I cured for 60 seconds, put the foundation on. Poly gel portion of this video. Poly gel, I'm not like super experienced with it. I've used it less than a handful of times but this was actually really easy to use my camera died right as i was putting it on that nail but i'm going to show you the next two fingers for certain so i already did three and i have two more to go 
Um, so you just want to get your little spatula and scoop you some poly gel out of the tube, squeeze it out. It's very stiff and you're going to use a little bit of alcohol. So I have a little dish next to me with some alcohol in it. It's 70% alcohol and that's what you're going to use to mold the poly gel onto your nail, onto the tip. So I always cover the end of the tip first. So you see me kind of dragging and patting the poly gel down to the end of my nail. And then once that's covered and it's at my desired like thickness because I don't want it too thin but I also don't want it too thick because it's the end of the nail. I'm going to start to press and pat that ball that I applied to the tip of the nail and I'm going to bring it all the way up to where the cuticle is. So you guys can just watch. It was trickier to do it on my... Um, right hand because I am a righty so it was trickier to do it with my left hand but this is actually my right hand doing my left hand and it was not hard at all actually like I actually really ended up liking it makes me want to purchase some more poly gel colors um, because I only have white and clear but I actually really enjoyed it because it, it gives you so much time to work on the nail because it doesn't dry it only dries once you cure it for the 60 seconds but before that you have all the time in the world to mold it to your desired shape thickness and all that stuff so i really like that i was i had so much time with this product so that's what my desired thickness and shape is i went ahead and cured it and i moved on to my thumb nail that's the, this is the last nail that i have to do so again i'm applying that bead of poly gel to the tip of my nail and then I'm going to pat and press that down so that it's molded to the tip and it's covering all of the edges, the little corners there. And then once I have it at my desired thickness, I'm going to start to press that bead into the rest of my nail, slowly dragging it up to the cuticle. And this bead didn't go all the way to my cuticle, so I'm going to go ahead and like add another one. But I'm just showing you guys what it looks like so far. So I'm going in with a second bead. You can do like a two ball bead method where you apply two as opposed to just one to cover the whole nail. But I feel like applying one for me is just easier because you don't want to apply too much poly gel because then you'll have to take some off which is kind of what happened here but I wasn't able to put on the exact amount that I needed so I had to go in with a second ball of poly gel and I'm just molding those sides cleaning it up remember I'm using alcohol for this I'm not using acetone um, and it's 70% alcohol That's what the nail looks like before I cured it for 60 seconds and then after I nail wipe and I'm going to clean off the little sticky layer of gel so that I can go ahead and shape my nails because they're a little lumpy and bumpy. <laughs> I said that a lot in one of my videos and somebody was like, you really like to say a lumpy and bumpy and I'm like, yeah, I mean, how else am I supposed to describe what the nail is looking like? It's looking lumpy and bumpy. like. I don't know what to I don't know what to say. So I'm just going in with my nail file and I'm shaping my nail. I'm buffing the top so that it's nice and smooth, getting rid of those lumps and bumps. And I'm doing I'm gonna be shaping the sides as well to make them nice and sharp and to really give me that coffin ballerina shape that I'm going for. So that's what they look like after I buff them. They're looking real good, okay? They look cute. Look at that thumb. I mean, I've paid like 50, $55 for a set like this, and I'm doing this at home for like 15. Like, I don't even know how much it cost me, but it wasn't that much. And then I'm going in with my top coat. This is also from the Jealous. A single layer of clear top coat to my poly gel nails. Just want to make sure you coat all the edges of the nail um, go all the way up to the cuticle but don't get the gel on your cuticle because when you cure it it will definitely be on your cuticle after I cured for 60 seconds this is what my nails are looking like they look really good then I'm just going from the jealous gel kit 
and I'm just applying the cuticle oil to my cuticles and then I put on a little bit of hand moisturizer and my nails looked so 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 good I was like really just amazed at myself I was like wow this is poly gel this looks great like and they feel really sturdy they don't feel thin they don't feel flimsy like I really am really satisfied with this poly gel set it makes me want to only use poly gel so you guys might see a lot more poly gel tutorials from me I'm just showing you all of my nails they came out so videos you want to see from me you can leave that in the comments down below don't forget you are smart you are beautiful and people love you I love you and I can't wait to see you